Team exclusive family and friends are hitting the road over the next couple of weeks, but not always to go out of town, but to hit the town in limousines and party buses. But how do you know the rental service that you're using is properly licensed, registered and insured? I team investigator Joe Dana found out there are concerns in the industry about safety. Buses like this 28 passenger minibus are in high demand heading into the holiday season. But not every company out there follows the rules. Tis the season for party buses and limos. You get a lot of Christmas light shows, and then you get the New Year's Eve, of course. But the October limousine crash in upstate New York that killed 20 people is a chilling reminder a joyride can turn tragic. The limo involved shouldn't have been on the road. Its registration was revoked. That thing just slipped right through the cracks. Jeff Connolly runs Vitesse Worldwide in Phoenix and is president of the Arizona Limousine Association. He says bad actors in the industry are on Arizona roads today. They're out there, I think, less than they used to be. Vehicles of 14 passengers or under are regulated by the state under the Vehicle for Hire licensing rules. Vehicles like party buses holding 15 passengers or more are also regulated by the feds. Look for this federal DOT number on them to know they are properly registered. They check the brakes and they check the log books, the history of all the maintenance, and also they have to have $5 million in liability insurance. With a few clicks, we found one limo company online in the Phoenix area as SW Limo, advertising rides for up to 22 passengers, but we could not find the company on a federal DOT database. Remember, anyone giving rides for groups of 14 passengers or more should be federally registered. We called the company about the apparent discrepancy. Does your company offer rides with more than 14 passengers? No, no, we used to, we don't anymore. The website says that it does. I'm just telling you, you asked a question, I'm telling you. I'm getting ready to shut the whole business down. I'm retiring, so that's all I can tell you. Okay. Uh, well, it looks like they hung up. We tried calling SW Limo back, but got no answer. Connolly suggests directly consulting the Arizona Limo Association's list of members online. Going with an established company that follows the rules shouldn't be that much more expensive. The association tells us, on average, about 10 percent. Not much when you consider the peace of mind it can give customers. Joe Dana, 12 News.